Well, good day, my friend, and welcome. I'm um, happy to be able to present to you today uh, how I made my drums because uh, for a long time I was thinking it would be a great video to make on how I made them. But the problem is, is I'm not in a position to make another one. So what do I do? Uh, it, after a while, um, it hit me that I actually do have video footage of me making this one right here. The problem is, is that it was uh, poor quality and the videotaping was badly edited and it's missing a whole lot of information. Uh, I wasn't really trying to do a step-by-step -step, uh, video at the time. I was just there to talk about the drum itself. And so I'm going to fill in the gaps while showing you some of those clips. And don't worry, I'm going to be able to show you how you can make your own. And um, so what I have here is I have two drums. I have the smaller one right here, which is made out of moose skin or moose hide. And this one right here, that's made out of deer skin. Now, this is the one that I take with me whenever I'm doing my mindfulness classes, my meditation classes. It's the one you've seen in my videos. In fact, it's the one that uh, is played at the sound there uh, on the intro of my videos. Your inner being channel. So that's this guy here. It's actually got a really good resonating sound to it and you can feel it uh, from one end of the room to the other it's a very powerful drum it really turned out great this is a very successful project and it's one of the first projects that i've ever did on any of the, my stuff that i've been doing with my home crafts and so uh, doing these drums is what led me to doing all kinds of other projects the pides were provided to me by a friend of mine who does hunting and so he provided the moose skin and the deer skin as it was fleshed off of the animal so it came to me with hair on it meat on it on the on the inside it needed some work and so uh, right away i got this feeling of emotion of um of it was an intense emotion that i needed to respect this process the first thing that we have to do is we have to prepare it so that we can remove the hair. So we put that skin into a bucket of water with something that is called lye. Lye is a chemical that you can buy at a hardware store, but I went even further uh, primitive than that. I created my own lye, which is made from wood ash. So the ashes from a fire pit, uh, just take that, stick it into the water and let it sit for a couple of weeks and then after that it's ready to be processed so then we got to remove it from the bucket and then we got to stretch it out on a frame so i had to build the frame a big 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 frame and you um, poke holes all along the rim of the hide and you string it up after I've strung it up and I've stretched it out, it was time to start the fleshing process. So using a metal scraper that you can again buy at a hardware store, I started to remove the hair. And the hair came off really easy thanks to the water solution that I had made. And then after that, you gotta do the opposite side that has a, some membrane uh, on it you have to remove all of that as well after all that was done it was time to start the process of putting it all together okay so again my friend the same friend uh, who provided me the hide is uh what you call one of those uh, guys with many talents and so he was also a woodworking guy and he was also able to make me the frame so looking at the skin itself now you kind of have to separate it into two halves because you're going to make the most out of the skin that you possibly can. When you put the, the frame over on the one end, you'll be able to see how much of the hide you need for the drum itself. Always keep in mind that this is going to shrink 
as you as it dries the final process the final part is letting it dry and everything shrinks and tightens uh, you then need to use the other uh, leftover pieces that you're going to use to create your string your cord with okay and you need a lot of it you need one extremely long continuous piece of string between 40 and 60 feet of it you need to cut one long spirally piece half an inch to a whole inch all the way around using the entire portion of hide now that you have the three pieces that you need being the frame then you have the uh, the main piece that's going to cover and be the drum itself and then you have your long cord you, it's, it's time to start putting it all together in this part here this main piece you need to poke 16 holes into the sides okay all around the circumference of that circle that you're going to have and then what you do is you use that string and you stitch it all together going to start with uh, the first hole and leaving yourself about a foot or two foot extra we are going to take the other end and we're going to break it into piece hole number one and then we're going to string it to exact the exact opposite at the bottom wherever that might be um, and then you go on to the next hole and then you go on to the next hole this way and then you go from there to there to there to there to there to there basically doing a spiral i think i may have uh, got my brain confused here as i'm looking at this but basically you're doing a nice you, you go in half and then you're stitching it kind of counterclockwise from one end to another and then you're left with a lot of cord hopefully at the end and then you just gotta kind of uh, bring all these pieces together so what we're going to show you now is how to tie it all in at the end in order to connect all these strings as you can see as mentioned there are 16 uh, strands here and that's going to form four pockets of four strings okay i have this cloth on here that i just put on just so that i can uh, have a nice grip when i'm holding it but underneath here is what I'm going to show you. Okay, so imagine you have four of those strings. Now we're going to clump them together. Here we go. We're going to just start to wrap this around. Okay, so you can go up as far as you like and then you're going to want to come back down. So we're just going to bring that in with a little loop just to close it off. And then from here, we are just going to continue on. And when you are done, then you go to the third one. And then the final one to do the final one i'm going to take a piece of string now this is where you can use string you can use wire you could use uh, anything um, what we're going to do is we are going to make a little loop here at the bottom and what we're going to do this time is we're going to wrap on our way down we're going to wrap around that loop okay so you see i'm just going to continue on making a nice clean wrap around so now what you're going to do 
is you're going to take this string here and we're going to pull it through the loop just like that. We're just going to pull it in there. And what we're looking for now is this action here. This action is going to pull this underneath and pull real hard. Ah, see, there we go. Okay. Now you can cut off the excess. So that's really the final steps on making the drum. From there, you, you just design it yourself and design it in any way you want. People paint on it. People don't do it. Some people do what I did and put some natural coloring on there, coffee uh, and uh, beet juice. I was worried about the beet juice because I actually used beet juice from a jar of beet juice that you'd buy in uh, the grocery store, which has a lot of vinegar in it. And I was worried if it was going to do anything to the drum and it didn't. So it all worked out and gave it some really good color. So the final thing to do then is just to let it dry and let it dry for as long as it takes. You can put it out in the sun if it's nice weather. Uh, otherwise, you can put it next to a heater or just, in my case, I put it on the wall just like that and um, let it hang and let it sit for, it did take a while, I think a week or two again. Um, so this whole process is a long term process. You have to work at it and then wait and then work at it and then wait. And then when it's all dry, it's tight and it makes some cool sounds. The last thing you're going to need is to make yourself a, a beater. And how you make that is um, find yourself a stick. It could be anything really. And then using some uh, cotton swabs or uh, it could be a bunched up um, filling for, for pillows, uh, a lot of soft cloth whatever you have it could be the hair from the animal as well um, and so covering it tying it off and you get your beater so if you really want to get a good uh, idea of what they sound like i have a video uh, where i play the drum and you can enjoy that while you're just just listen to it get mesmerized by, by it do some mindfulness see what it sounds like get a chance to create your own and again just creating in general is a really really good way to connect in an artistic way and when you're creating music a musical instrument that's the difference creating the musical instruments I was able to really connect because then you're playing the instrument which has a whole new dynamic to creating something artistically so uh, I wish you well on that uh, yeah so until next time, enjoy life, take care, and I wish you well.